is Mina Ardick. Mina RD, the one and only two-time Capcom Cup champion. Mina, please make your way to your station. It is time for the bull himself to make his interest. Mena RD, you can't come down now. We get your aura. We see, we understand, we feel the energy. This player, again, is the only two-time Capcom Cup champion, and we just saw him in EVO Grand Finals. Easily one of the favorites to take this entire tournament, and he is representing that Dominican Republic proudly. Well, he made it to the EVO Grand Final, and he want to make it to the Grand Final here in Gamers 8, and we're going to see what's, what's his, what he's going to do in this tournament. Aizad al-Mujahideen, ma'na al-la'ab amina اللي حقق المركز الثاني في بطولة إيفو اللي كانت معنا في الأسابيع الماضية حقق إنجاز عظيم ووصل معنا إلى النهائيات لكن ما حالف الحظ في النهائيات هناك يبقى يأخذ اللقب في, في أكبر البطولات هنا برضو معنا لكن في نفس الوقت عنده خصمة جاية يبقى ينافس في هذه اللعبة في أرضه وبين جمهوره وخلونا نتعرف على اللعب الثاني من أر دي is looking absolutely serious right now عطونا تحية للاعب لطيف لطيف شرفتنا ونورنا برضو هنا على المسرح حرفيا اللاعب لاعب كبير معروف في العاب الفايتنج يحقق انجازات وحتى برضو بطولات في العاب الفايتنج بشكل عام لكن حتى برضو يبغى يضيف لعبة زيادة لتاريخه يبغى يضيف يبغى يضيف بطولات زيادة في لعبة توا نازلة معنا اللي هي لعبة ستريت فايتر يبغى يتنافس ضد اقوى اللاعبين واللي راح نشوف كيف راح يكون Latif, of course, is the home country hero from right here in Saudi Arabia. The crowd is hyped. They are behind him right now, and with good reason. This matchup is absolutely insane. Only here in Gamers 8 do you get these types of matchups. Latif already has an insane pedigree when it comes to the history of Street Fighter, and he is recently making his comeback and looking absolutely insane, but it's not going to be any easy task against Men RD. Ladies and gentlemen, can we make some noise for our first matchup? Men RD. D versus Latif. Players, you can take your seats. Ladies, bro, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm feeling the energy. The tension is kind of crazy right now, with Teak. I ain't gonna lie. We're, we're still in the first day. This is the first match. We still have like more days and more matches. This is going to be amazing. أعزائي المشاهدين عندنا في هذه اللحظة راح نبدأ راح نبدأ فيها أول مباراة لهذه البطولة راح تكون غير طبيعية. عندنا حتى برضو عندنا اللاعب أمينة أرضي ضد اللاعب لطيف اللي راح تكون مباراة تاريخية. خلونا على طول نبدأها. Atik, I think that we have done enough. This match is about to be insane, and we are about to head over to our casters right now. أعزائي المشاهدين خلينا نبدأ المباراة على طول ونروح على طول مع المعلقين. Oh boy, I feel the electricity in the air, baby. Welcome to Gamers 8, months long celebration of all things competitive gaming. And yes, the Street Fighter 6 leg of the tournament has begun. Myself, Ringe, along with Vicious on the comms. How you doing, fam? You already know what it is. When it comes to this crowd, it's absolutely electric. But when it comes to these players, it's going to be absolutely legendary here at Gamers 8. I am looking forward to everything that's going to be going down between not just these players, not just Block 8, but for the rest of the tournament and you guys as well will be ecstatic as we go along hour after hour play by play you already know it's gonna be big game day today we got four long days of street fighter baby if you're looking for that action you are tuned in to the right place and of course both of these players i mean uh, their reputations speak for themselves but i love the way they made their entrances bro mena rd was looking like a real bull like exhaling the steam from his nose right there mm -hmm. to get it popping bro and we heard we heard him talk about right he was like bro evo was just prepped for this tournament so i can't wait to see what he brings to the table now man it's a different kind of hunger when you're a champ right when you are two-time capcom cup champ and also champion to see CEO gaming and just falling just a little bit short you know it stings a lot extra when it comes to that but we also have someone like Latif who's been on the main stage numerous times master of multiple games yep. this is where we get to see 
some real champions collided. I'm really excited about it. I did have a little heart to heart with Latif. Okay. Right? Him coming from the States for a good amount of time. Obviously, he's the hometown hero. Yeah. Been in Saudi Arabia, from Saudi Arabia. But I got to say, man, when he spent his time as Arizona, he was definitely yeah. powering up all the warriors out there. So I did get to talk to him. Okay. He was a little bit worried. His main objective is figuring out how to stop the big Blanca from Mena RD. Man, yeah, the Blanca from Mena has been a complete problem, right? We've seen the Blanca and the Luke, but of course, I believe it was the Blanca that took down Punk's Cami and Evo at CEO. So I want to see what he brings to the table now. I'm assuming it's going to be the Blanca. And I think that character is a huge problem, you know what I mean? Especially for, I think, uh, maybe someone that's not entrenched in Street Fighter VI as much as Latif is, you know what I'm saying? Like, I think he's got a focus on other games. Obviously, he was really trying hard and guilty gear at evo as well so he's gonna have a lot of knowledge checks that he's gonna need to know about and just in general i think blanca's buttons are a big problem man lots of active frames on him great range it's not gonna be like super easy for cami to get into the range where she feels effective right and we've talked about this even off stream plenty of times over when we're really assessing the matchup i think blanca i think you had phrased this quite eloquently he is uh quite the counter poker in regards yeah. to like those activity frames so, and so Looking at the kind of approach that Cammy can kind of take in majority of the matchups she plays, she has an excellent ground approach. Mm. She also has a really annoying air approach. Blanca being able to cover both those pretty consistently is what's really going to draw the problem out for Latif. And a, a big thing about Blanca that is pretty much universally applied to the different matchups, right, is that when he is cornered, the air Blanca ball, bro, the EX, the, excuse me, the OD dive ball, as I like to call it, I mean, it is an absurd tool for Blanca to have. Obviously, it's going to uh, beat your throw attempts if you're trying to commit to those early but even if you're sitting there and block it it is plus on block so it's still Blanca's turn so really you got to be preemptive about stuffing it we saw Punk experiment with the crouch fierce right the crouch heavy punch from Jaime right. in the corner because it has that upward angle on the hitbox it could catch the jumps from Mena but we're gonna get it locked in baby I want to see it Latif going with that cami the intel is correct and you already know Mena bringing the king of the jungle to the table and here we go ladies and gentlemen the very first game of Gamers 8 it's gonna be Mena RD versus Latif. This is the round robin. This is group A and it is indeed match one. We're about to bring that fire. Let me see some of those smiles. There we go. I knew he was gonna go for it first. Yeah, 100% man. Man, just hearing you say this is the first match of Gamers 8. Oh man, the electricity truly flowing and it's not even from Blanca. Let's see what we're gonna yeah, you, know like, you know what I'm saying? That's early. <laughs> That's early. <laughs> <laughs> but we already got a Mena RD. You can see making his way in. He's gonna establish throws early. Hopefully catch the teeth tagging later on. And the wow. spin knuckle, the first one gets jumped back and punished severely. I can't imagine Latif uh, going for that relatively early. I feel like Mena RD wasn't really stuck oh. on the ground game at all, but a big throw bait already. You could be dead here if you wanted to spend the level one. Not, not even quite. gonna do it. Uh, Try to get the that. ball at the end. Yeah, it didn't really look like it was effective, but the level one will surely be so. Hey, it was, it was a it was a tough little decline for Latif, and he still managed to get out a bar from Menar Menar D. So like that's that's a little a little victory as well going Absolutely. into it. Oh my oh, goodness. Yeah, ball. Mena is like so good at reversals, bro. Like, especially when it comes to higher stakes matches. I feel like the higher the stakes, the more often he actually wakes up with these invincible reversals. But right there, immediately exposing the parry. Latif is on life support in terms of drive gauge. You get the forward throw, but what happens afterwards? You guys, mm, the big counter, the big buttons actually coming in from Latif. The roundhouse right after. Here comes Mini Blanca. Man! Wow. That was so smart for Latif to just kind of go for it. Man, RD got stuck. Yeah, 100%. Oh, and I like this. Okay, experimenting with stuffing the rainbow ball with a jump back air to air button. You see both of them definitely catching on to each other's rhythm right now. We'll take it to the skies at the same time. And I do like the fact that you were talking about the big rhythm, right? Oh, boy, level two. You're about uh -huh. to feel the rhythm of the ball. Block. Oh. Damn! What is counter? He was studying that, baby. That was so sick right there. Yeah, it looked like Mena. That was like the parry bait, right? Where he goes directly down with the yes. lightning like, ball. Yeah. And we already saw Latif do a parry. So it was a good decision oh on Latif my with God. the reaction now. Oh, but Mena won't stop. Very it's been so, so clutch. And a little bit, yeah. It's, it's kind of reluctant to kind of move forward. Latif's trying to find a big opening. And no, there it is. Mena RD getting the punish, overextending Latif. He's got to be feeling that one. Yeah, you could tell Latif, he was a smile a little bit after that one because, like, he caught on to a couple of uh, Mena RD's options with the DP, right? And he knows he was very close. He got fooled into the animations right there from the Blanca. But yeah, man, he's not looking bad at all. Not one bit. He did have a solid read. Like, most of the players kind of falter when it comes to, like, level two uh, super art from, from Blanca. 
they kind of freak out yeah. and try to figure out how to even like defend against it. But going into game two, man, Latif, I don't know what these cannon spikes are, Ringe. Yeah, yeah, you know, I mean, that was definitely a little, a little flub on his part. But right now, Meta RD immediately drive impact, exposing him at the wall. Try to burn him out with that level one super. Got close to it, but we'll finish the job nonetheless. Cooking real quick, Meta RD already looking at match point. Oh yeah, we are in the two out of three territory. You gotta earn that three out of five here at Gamers 8. Yeah, that's plus frames all day. I believe minus three on the regular lightning. That is correct, yeah. And Latif also ready for the, up, the air ball, excuse me, the OD version. As good, damn, as good as it is on block, you can still kind of prepare yourself by walking backwards forward. And Cammy does have a per very impressive walk speed. Yeah, you can tell Meta, he's starting to catch on oh, to how often Latif is busting out, but instead exposing that drive meter, drains the last of it, and then stuns him up at the same time. Oh my goodness, you're going for a ride. That is almost death. One bar to his name as well. <gasps> Antier oh. won't get the job done when it trades, baby. Meta RD 2-0 to start Gamers 8. That is a very, very confident 2-0 from the current Capcom Cup champ, Mena RD, knowing full well what to do against the Kami matchup. We did see shades of the uh, the improvement from, from the matchup at hand from the side of Latif from round one into round two, only yeah. in game one, yeah. right? But as soon as Mena RD had kind of figured out what he needed to do, it was lights out. 100% man, Meta, I mean, he is a calculated assassin in this game, right? And the way he kind of makes players play uncomfortably, right? If you watch the uh, documentary from Reversal that followed him during, I believe, CEO, he talks about that. He's like, that is my play style. I am looking to make you uncomfortable. And he is so good at it. And Blanca, in general, is a perfect character for that strategy. I don't want to be anywhere near Blanca. No. Anytime never. I see a Blanca, I'm already shaking in my boots. Like he, the character itself makes you uncomfortable. Like taking a look at the replays, you can kind of see it. Mena RD is simply built different. You do not get to the point that he's gotten to without going through adversity, without having a calculated strategy, and that is exactly what we just saw right there. That Blanca is looking insane right now, Atik. Well, I felt the energy from him. Honestly, like what I saw the gameplay, he really wants the trophy, and we're gonna see an amazing uh, games next because we have more matches yet to come. Like, but also, our viewers, this is the first match you saw before Mena RD. كان مستواه ساحق في هالمباراة ورانا المستوى شلون راح يكون معنا في هذه البطولة لأن من جد يبغى يأخذ الكأس هذا اللقب لكن برضو مبارياتنا الجاية برضو لا تقل أهمية خلونا برضو نشوف من المعنى في المباريات اللي بعدها. Mena RD is going to absolute force in this tournament. He is not going to be easy to stop, and he has to be one of the favorites. I've heard some rumblings. I'm interested to see what the Twitch chat thinks about it. Is it possible that we get an evil Grand Finals run back? Might we see Angry Bird versus Men RD yet again in Grands? I'm going to put you on the spot right now. Who is your favorite to win this overall event, if you're willing to say? Well, if, if, if I have to say, I'm, I'm, a, I'm obviously biased for it because uh, I support m like my, my locals here. Okay, okay. So, so, so you're going Latif? Uh, Latif and Wes. Uh, okay, okay, uh, Latif and Wes, that's understandable. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with any bias at all whatsoever, at least when you're hosting with Big Hollywood Raw TV. Me, personally, I gotta say, maybe Minna, I would say Minna, and of course Angie Bird, and we cannot forget about my guy, 